Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will be testing out this new Wet n Wild foundation as well as the powder and the concealer. So let's just get started. Um, I forgot how much this retails for, but I will put it somewhere on the screen. So I got a soft beige and it comes in like a glass bottle. And with this line, it's the photo focus line. And basically it has no flashback and it's great in like seven different lightings, I, I think, I forgot. So it comes with in a glass bottle, very nice packaging for Wet n Wild. This is what the applicator looks like. I actually like applicators like this um, just because I like the spatula and I like smearing it on. With a pump, I had to pump in the back of my hand, but this, I could just smear it on and I like that. So hopefully this is my shade. And it looks kind of dark, not gonna lie. So I'm going to do half of my face with a brush and the other half with a beauty blender. So yeah, this is not my shade whatsoever. It's way too orange. But so far it's blending out really well. And I don't know what this finish is supposed to be. I believe matte. So, so far it has a medium to high coverage. Um, I feel like if I build it on, it will cover even more. So far it's covering like my minor imperfections, like my hyperpigmentation and some of my uh, blemishes. So the coverage is pretty good so far. And I like that it's blending out super smoothly, like I'm having no trouble whatsoever. The brush made it look very... Uh, flawless like it gives a really flawless finish so let me try it out with a beauty blender okay so now i'm going with the beauty blender so the beauty blender is blending it really nice as well um, i see no difference with the beauty blender or the brush honestly it looks the same and the beauty blender might have just taken a little bit more product uh, than the brush, but still looks very nice. This applicator is awesome. Like, it makes things super easy. I wish a lot of companies did this. I'm telling you guys, this blends out like a dream. Yeah, so I believe this foundation is very buildable. Um, my face does not look cakey whatsoever. I believe this is a matte foundation, so there's not really any shine to it. So the concealer is very nice as well. I'm very impressed with their packaging. So I have the shade Light Ivory and Light Medium Beige. So let's see which one I am. I don't think I am Light Medium Beige. That's a little bit too yellow a little too dark as well yeah i'm definitely light ivory okay so has a doe foot applicator just like a normal concealer i'm gonna take this side on a g2 brush it's blending out like how the foundation did this photo focus line I'm telling you, it's it's pretty good. <laughs> and it's not looking cakey whatsoever under my eyes. It's a very lightweight concealer. Um, and I feel like this is buildable as well. It's covering up my dark circles. So I'm very impressed with this. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the powder. Um, I am loving it. So far, I'm really, really liking it. Okay, so I'm going to move on to the pressed powder. I got the shade Neutral Beige. The other shade I wanted was out. I forgot which one it was called, but um, yeah, it was out of stock. So, so far, the powder seems super soft. Okay, I'm going to take it on a S19 brush and just powder my whole face with it. Uh, 
Okay, so my face is pretty soft. Um, that powder made it look super nice. It's not accentuating any fine lines whatsoever. So I'm I'm really really liking this foundation. Yeah, let me zoom y'all up and show you. So this is what it looks like very close up to my face. Like I said, it's a very nice finish and super flawless. Like I feel like my skin looks so good right now. And I'm liking how it feels. It feels super lightweight and not cakey, not heavy. It doesn't feel gross. And the coverage is, like I said, medium to high. Uh, I feel like this could cover a lot. I don't know. I really like that everything about this foundation so far. Nothing is bad. I feel like this is comparable to a high-end foundation. I don't know. I'm really liking it so far. Okay, so I'm going to finish the rest of my face. And then I'm going to try out this new liquid cat suit from wet and wild so i'll be right back so yeah i finished my face so i'm gonna try out this new liquid lipstick this is in rebel rose oh my gosh this color is so pretty such a nice mauve shade and so far this liquid lipstick is super comfortable it's very creamy. The color is just impressing me. I highly recommend y'all go check these out. So now I'm gonna set my face with this H2O Beauty Hydrating Mist. Um, it's also a makeup setter, so. And I also forgot to mention that I primed my face with the Too Faced um, Hangover RX. So let's see how long this will last i will take you guys out with me all day i'll check back like within a couple hours so yeah this is what it looks like right now i'm really digging it like this foundation looks so good but i'll see y'all guys in a couple so i just hours. wanted to show y'all what it looks like in natural lighting um well outside kind of and of course i'm in a drive-thru when am i ever not in a drive-thru this time it's sonic and I'm about to head into work, so I had to grab a quick bite. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. Um, like I said, it looks kind of orange. Uh, I got the wrong shade. I'm liking it so far, and I also forgot to tell y'all the time. It is 2.45. I applied it at around 2, and it's looking still very nice. Very good. And I feel like people are staring at me, and I will see you guys in a few more hours. So it is 6 o'clock right now and I applied it at 2 so it's been 4 hours since my application and it still looks really good like um, the nose area kind of rubbed off because I, I've been blowing my nose all day but other than that it still looks good so I'll check back in a few more hours again. So it is currently 11.15 and this is what the foundation looks like. Um, still looks the same honestly the only downside is that I did start creasing under my eyes but that's basically it the foundation held up so the foundation is super long wearing and it looks great still um, I'm very impressed I would recommend this foundation I'm just gonna keep wearing it and I'll let you guys know when like a favors or anything if it makes the cut but yeah that's it for this video thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one Oh,